James, obviously, um, AJ McKee was successful against your teammate Brian Moore tonight. A really um, exciting performance from both guys. Brian obviously came out, nearly took the fight in the second round. Just your thoughts on the fight as a whole? Yeah, it was a deadly fight. Good fight, you know what I mean? It was exciting, a lot of good exchanges. I thought Brian cut him off the whole the first round, the second round. Busted him up bad, caught him every shot. And just made a small mistake and give his back at the in the third. And then he obviously got caught with a choke and, uh, and that was it. You know what I mean? It was a good good solid choke from AJ as well. Take, you have to take your hats off to them. <coughs> Do you know what I mean? This is sort of always say after my fights they just ridicule me. They don't they don't give me the the congratulations that that I deserve. Do you know what I mean? They and they can't deny it that I don't deserve it. Same way he deserves it tonight. He beat it AJ beat a tough opponent and Brian Murray. Brian's an absolute animal. I know how good Brian is and stuff like that. And hats off to him. Do you know what I mean? He came in here and put on a good performance. But but if I get in there with him, I'm gonna strangle him in one round. That's if if he fights me. I tried to get them all here tonight. I tried to get me versus AJ for the main event. Kane fucking versus Baby Slice. And Kiefer versus Joey Davis, their team versus our team. But nah, they won't have it. And then they come online, sign the contract, sign this. I'm sick of hearing it. The absolute teeth, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, I'm done with that. Do you know what I mean? That's just stupid. Like, fuck off, mate, making stupid videos and all. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you want to fight, I'm here. Do you know what I mean? They had to go and get someone else, and then he'd come on my undercard when I was the fucking main event. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's embarrassing me. Do you know what I mean? That's just show I'm up there. I'm ready to fight anyone online. I said to him, let's get AJ. Get Cain versus fucking Baby Slice and Kiefer versus Joey Davis and this dude. And I've got, I've asked, I've, I've fucking got messages to prove that I've been asking and asking and asking, doing their heads and trying to get it. And now they, they're a no show, but yet now they took another fight. Kevin's just after walking out of the room here, Kevin Ferguson Jr. Um, did you have any words with him? No, I, I didn't see him. Okay. So I didn't. But I see him running around. He was like, Kiefer said to me, he was like, oh, when are you going to fight me? He's like, oh, he won't, won't give an answer. It was, they were just like, they were like little actors. That's what, that's what their future plan is, do a bit of fighting and then go into acting. And you can just see it in the fight and it's the most cringiest bullshit I've ever seen in my life. So it is, I'm just like, I'm not taking that shit on, do you know what I mean? I'm going for belts, I'm going for world titles and that's where I'm focused on, I'm not on that. Just look at their mindset, that mindset when you can't even congratulate someone when you when they win a big fight. Do you know what I mean? I just choked out Chins, Chins and Machida in Madison Square Garden. He's like, Gallagher's a pussy, he didn't fight anyone good, he didn't do this, he didn't do that. You can't deny that was a solid performance. I went and took whoever was down in front of me and choked them out. The same way he done tonight. And hats off to him, it was a solid win. It was a solid win for him, and, do you know what I mean? But that's the difference in the mindset. How can you fight someone with that loser's mindset? Going in there in the second round, looking at the clock and all, after you get caught with a few shots. That's not me. That's not me, me. Why are you looking to get back in there? We heard you had some positive news about your, your knee yeah. in the last couple of days. Yeah, yesterday I went back for a, a check-up to see if I can uh, fly to LA to, tomorrow or something like that. I think we're flying on. But um, uh, I got just went to see him. The doctor didn't need any re-examination on it and stuff. And he says, like, oh, I can walk, I can drive, I can start like cycling again, start doing like, some weights and stuff like that there. And So I'm absolutely delighted, you know what I mean, just to be walking around. Because for a few weeks I've been just in my gaff, like, not being able to move. And it's like, that's tough, especially for like a young guy like me who's always on the move. It was the main event in here, I was going to earn a lot of money, more money than I've ever earned in my life. Fucking just fighting here tonight, and then all of a sudden it's like, boom, it's wiped out from underneath you. Just because I was just training for me fight. Just doing what I do every day, and it's like, boom, it's all done, and you're just sitting there going, bollocks. Do you know what I mean? I, I've got nothing else to do. And you just have to wait and get it, re you know, get it back on the ball and focus on the rehab and stuff. So now I can walk and I can go to the gym. They do like just even if it's stepping up on a fucking box, it's still good for me mind. You know what I mean? And that's that's the difference between me and all them is my mind. James, and that's what's going to show. Excuse me, sorry to interrupt yeah. you. Um, I'm here from the Telegraph and, and Talk Sport, and we're going to run this out tomorrow night on our live show. Um, for you, um, following in the wake, almost like a new generation after Conor McGregor, um, and. You rubbing shoulders with people like Hoist Gracie, I see how much you enjoy that. Mm. Are you going to be the next generation after Connor has kind of retired and gone away from the sport? And, and how important is it to keep that momentum going in Ireland? Because it's the only European country, really, that has genuine momentum with MMA. Yeah, 100%. I'm here for a long time. I'm not going fucking nowhere. I'm getting all them belts. So I'm, I'm coming for the whole lot. Do you know what I mean? I'm, like, I'm only 21 last week. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I'm ready training eight years or something. My first fight when I was 13. I have a lot of experience in this game. Been doing this since I was a kid, do you know what I mean? Like literally a kid fighting grown men. 
So, yeah, so I have a lot of experience in this and I'm going to carry that all the way through until my days are done. I'm going to create a legacy for myself. Do you know what I mean? It's going to be the, G the Jimmy Empire as I call it and that's what I'm building. Are you stimulated though by, you know, you only have to walk around Dublin, around Ireland, that there is this incredible groundswell of support from young men, young women, yeah. the public, they want to wear what the fighters are wearing. It's, it's, it, we don't have this in any other European country. Are you aware of that? Yeah, 100%, but it's just like, we're all one. It's not like, do you know I mean, there's fans and then there's the fighters. Mm. Do you know what I mean? That's not the way I see it. We're all one. You go out there in that crowd and there's a bunch of people come up and pitch. I'm just one of the boys as well. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I'm not just, just because I walk in there and have a fight. Doesn't mean none of the rest of them people can't do that. Do you mm. know what I mean? They can do that, put in and training and put in the work. Any of them can do that. Do you know what I mean? They can all do what I can do. Because we got the mindset for it over here. It's different. We're a different kind of breed. And I'm just one of the boys as well that you see floating around. Do you know what I mean? That's the way I see it. I don't look at it like, maybe from an outside point of view, it is like that. Mm. It is definitely like that, and I can see it is like that, but I'm just, I just see myself as one of the boys and don't look at it like that. But there was only a few years back when MMA was not looked upon, sorry everyone, looked upon as um, almost down their noses by people. But, you know, a few yeah. of you in a few years have changed a lot of things. Yeah. Are you aware of that responsibility? Yeah, like 100%. You can see it like, it's help people's lives for the better including mm. my own mm. including people around me people i know meet every day and people that are not fighters people just train mma for the love of it or else there's people i always get like messages from people who got like a like a disease or like something that, that, that that's critically wrong with them and they, and they take inspiration from that do you know what i mean and see when you get them messages from people and you're like reading it and you're like going wow especially now that i'm injured and i'm still getting mm. them people are messaging me like oh don't worry do you know what i mean i got this and then you're like wow they take inspiration from me does that buzz you up? It's not because I I, I I don't get nothing like I don't feel anything when they get inspiration from you like don't no, feel, no 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 don't, you don't feel good no, you inspiring yeah, I'm not finished okay yeah sorry <laughs> I take inspiration from them okay so I Lovely. do I take inspiration from them I, mm. I, I it's mad like they're like looking at me saying I inspire them but really they're the ones inspiring me awesome do you know what I mean yeah. they're the ones who's driving me through this and they're mm. the ones who's get me through it all them like do you know what I mean when you're just reading it and you're like wow like do you know what I mean I feel like I just want to hit the gym, do you know what I mean? I want to put in the work and show these people that I can actually really do this and I've got that mindset to come through this, do you know what I mean? And show them that, just to give them that little bit, do you know what I mean? Just not like, it's just they like fucking get, buzz them, do you know what I mean? They're going to be it's watching me and they're going to be watching no, me and, the, and stuff. Sentiment. So yeah. it's nice then when you mm -hmm. get them and you're like, that's nice, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm doing this for that kind of people in that kind of way. Thank you. One thing as well, James, we're on the uh, counter side of that, you may not be active on the mats in, in SVG at the moment, but you're active on social media and you put up a post, a picture with a belt. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Looks good, it you wear it well. But there's a lot of hate on them posts from the haters. So we're talking about people that are inspired by you. What do you think of the haters? Do they even drive you on more? No, they don't. They're just, they're not, they're nothing. That's someone who don't, doesn't like their life. Do you know what I mean? People come on to me and be like, oh, you're this, you're that, you're dirt, you're never going to do this. And they'll be like, all right then, maybe maybe not, right? But maybe that's your opinion. But I want it. I'm going for it. I've got that mindset. There's no one getting in my way to stop me, and I'm happy. I'm the happiest motherfucker around here. Do you know what I mean? I'm even though I'm not fighting, my legs and bits I can hardly fucking walk. I'm stumbling around the place. Do you know what I mean? With this fucking brace on my leg, but I'm a happy motherfucker just floating around, enjoying my life. Do you know what I mean? With someone. You have to be severely unhappy to go on and write something on social media. They like really, and some of the comments I get are like, they're harsh. Do you know what I mean? They they try and do anything they can to just get under your skin. But I just read it and I just find it a bit strange. It doesn't even like annoy me. I'm like, fuck. I just be like, wow, that's that person needs help. Do you know what I mean? And unfortunately, I can't be the one to give them any help. But they need it. So James, <laughs> you know, obviously with the Asian McKee situation. You know, promotions love conflict, they love war words between fighters. Is it a case of now or never this fight sort of has to happen or get booked? Yeah, I'm, I'm, nah, it's not now or never. I'll fight him any, any time. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm above him now. My profile is like a way above him. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's down here. I'm focused on the belts, but I'll fight him any time. So, well, it's not now or never, but I'm done with all this bullshit. Like, he's not, after tonight, he's not even my words. He's not even my thoughts. He never is, but... You all fucking ask me about him every time I come here, and that's the only way I speak about him. Do you know what I mean? Fuck him. Do you know what but I mean? think it's one the fans want to see as well. You know, there's been a lot of talk online from yeah. the fans. Yeah, but there's a lot of better fights and better fighters that I could fight. Do you 
you know what I mean? He's not the best. He isn't, you know what I mean? He, he's not bad, but he's not the best. I want the best. Who do you want, James? Huh? Who do we want? Champion? I want the champion. I want the bell. So I want this up now next week. I want the winner of that. Do you know what I mean? But Will you be in attendance? I, I was going to be. <laughs> I was. I, they had me flights and all sort of, but uh, I'm going to LA instead. So, But maybe I can... Maybe if I get wrapped up in LA quick, I'll just go f straight from there to there. Yeah. So I'm going to have my stuff ready and, and go on if I can. Can you tell us what's going on in LA? Just a holiday or uh, is there some business? No, I have some media shit to do. So I have to go and get pictures and all. The, the promotions, like rebranding. And of course, I'm the face of it. So <laughs> I was the 21st as well. You didn't, you didn't tell us, let us in on what you, you got up to. I got up to, you know, I, can't, I, no? I hurt oh. me leg two weeks before. So I didn't get up to Jack's yet. Yeah, me, my family organised a nice meal and like a few people came down and stuff and that was it. But I was hopping around in fucking crutches and I couldn't, that was the most frustrating thing ever, do you know what I mean? Because I was planning like, that was like, I wasn't even planning, like obviously not having a birthday at all. I was meant to be fighting tonight and like stuff and then this happened and my birthday come and I was just like, fuck, do you know what I mean? This is, it's a tough time. But I had a nice meal with my family and all and I enjoyed it and celebrated becoming 21. But Hopefully now he wants to get this fake sell and, and fight again. Then I'll celebrate it then after my next fight. Uh, there's obviously a, a huge array of talent at, at, at SBG in Ireland, which you fight out of, and none of you seem to have any problems engaging in verbal warfare. I just want to know, is the parading of confidence amongst you guys, that's something that you, got, that you have drilled within you, or you speak about, or is it just a case of coincidence? Yeah, but there's a gym, there's a, it's a big gym. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There is people up there who just keep, they're just quiet and people that don't say anything and that's them. Do you know what I mean? Well, I'm not. If he's going to say something, I'm going to say something back to you. Do you know what I mean? That's just me. That's just the way I am. Do you know what I mean? I just speak my mind. I just speak honestly, I think. Do you know what I mean? I'm confident as a motherfucker. I back up, I back it up every time.